Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with this super fall vampy look and it was created with my Jaclyn Hill palette that I received in the mail a few days ago. I was so excited to get this um, in the mail so I wanted to come on here right away, right away and do this look for you guys. The rest of the makeup that I used on my face um, was makeup that I had in my previous video. Um, from my Sephora haul so if you want to check that out just to see what I have in front of me um, you can check that video out and it also will be um, mentioned again in this video as well so I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, outside of the box so I'm gonna open it up with you guys right now so it comes with this little card that shows all of the colors and what the names are and it's pretty cool, it has a picture on the back and it's a really nice picture. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. It's upside down and let's open it up. So gorgeous, lots of pretty fall colors. Not only fall, but it has like a lot of neutral colors for every day and then some um, kind of bright colors here you can use to, um, to do like a nice bright night out look or something like that but there it's so versatile this is the type of palette that you take when you're going out of town or something like that and it's it's just really beautiful the colors that I used on my eyes was this one I used this one I used this one and this one and I will have the colors mentioned within the video um, so just keep an eye out for that if you want to know the exact Another thing I wanted to mention um, before we get started with the video is this beautiful lip color that I just picked up um, from Ulta and it is a liquid suede from NYX lip, liquid lip gloss or lipstick and it is so amazing. It's, it's so gorgeous. It has like a metallic finish. Um, but it's really opaque and it came out just gorgeous and it went perfectly with my eyes. So yeah, um, that's it and let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I started off by mixing two colors in the palette. For my transition color, I used Creamsicle, which is the first eyeshadow in the second row, and Pukey, which is the fourth eyeshadow in the second row. So I just mixed these two together and I blended them in my crease. I also started off with um, my eyebrows done already as well. So the next color I'm taking here is called Enchanted and it's going to be like a foresty green color. It's going to be the fourth color in the bottom row. Now with this color I had a couple of issues trying to blend it out um, and with it sticking onto my eyelid um, I used a concealer and powder combo which I will link below, but I use the concealer and and powder combo as my base to do my eyeshadows like I always do. And for some reason, it just didn't blend that great. However, I, I still love the palette and I would even still use the Enchanted color again. But this portion of my video, I didn't speed it up. The rest of it is sped up. But this portion, I wanted you guys to see what I experienced with this color and I, I wonder if anybody else has ever experienced this with this palette um, I I just bought this palette so this was a part of the relaunch um, batch so maybe that had something to do with it but yeah as you can see here I'm just packing on the color on the outer and the inner color to corner I'm sorry to do like this sandwich type of look more of like a halo or a sandwich, whichever way you want to call it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start to blend. Now, as you can see, um, as I'm blending, the color just gets really faded, which that happens. But if you continue to watch, it falls right off of my lid. And it's just, yeah, from here, it's just not blending that great. And you can see the difference. Um, one eye is lighter and the other eye that I haven't blended yet is darker in color. It's more opaque. So yeah, I continue to try to blend 
it bothered me, um, but I really wanted to work with this palette. I really wanted to work with it because it was a beautiful color and I had the look in mind. I wasn't going to change what I was going to um, do as far as the look goes. I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I definitely worked with it. Ended up working out in the end, so I guess that's all that matters, but... Um, it was really difficult. I, I think next time around, I would use a different base for this color. So here I am taking more of Creamsicle and just trying to blend the um, where it kind of meets in the crease, where the two colors meet in the crease. And I'm just doing that in circular motions, trying to get that um, as blended as I possibly can. But it's definitely not opaque anymore. You can see the difference right here. So yeah, I just continue to blend and I did a little freeze frame right here so you can just see the difference. It's definitely a lot lighter. Um, so here I am just packing on more of the color just to get it um, dark um, how I want it to look. Okay, so here I am just trying to blend out the other side and already having the same issue as I did with the other eye. It's just patchy and not blending. As you can see on the outer corner, I have like a big patch that's just not blended. As well as in the inner corner, there's just another big dark green patch that's not blending out. So... This side was kind of worse than the other side, just having issues trying to get it blended, which wasn't a terrible problem because I wanted it to be dark, but it just wasn't sticking, as you can see. Uh, I was all sad, <laughs> and it's just not blending. But again, I, I worked with it. it made, I made it work, as you can see from the intro. I, I made it work. Um, I would use this color again, but uh, just not with the same base, probably. So I'm just going to continue to pack on that color and blend and pack on more color. Um, I even tried to use my finger, as you can see right there, um, using my finger to try to pack the color on as best as I could. And then, yeah, so I just continue to blend. Like I said, eventually I got it to look good, so I'm going to go ahead and just skip through the parts where I blended my life away, basically. Okay, so here I am just spraying some plain water onto my brush and I'm taking the color. Let's see what color this is. It's Diva and it's the third color in the very last row onto my lid with a flat brush and packing that onto the middle part of the halo um, effect and it's just gorgeous. I love this color. It's so fall, so gorgeous, so shimmery and even without water, um, I pack some on top and it's amazing even without water. So here I am just packing that on and then I'm going to go ahead and blend the edges with Enchanted just so it's nice and blended. 
So the look is definitely coming along. I'm just blending everything, making sure everything's nice and blended. Okay, so here I am using the Revlon Photo Ready um, Eye Art, and it's the glitter part, call, and this is the color Topaz. So I'm just using that in the middle part, in the center, to just give it more of a glittery effect. So I'm just going to take the card that came with the packaging from my Jaclyn Hill palette and fan that out until it's dry. And then from there, I'm going to move on to my under eye brow bone highlight. Now this color is going to be, it's called Obsessed and it's right under Creamsicle. It's going to be the first one in the third row. And it's so gorgeous. It's like, it comes in the pan. It's like a pinky champagne kind of color. But on my eyebrow, um, since I am kind of darker toned, it comes off almost like a frosty white color. But it still ended up being gorgeous, and that's what I used for that part. Okay, so I'm again, I'm taking creamsicle and I'm just blending those two colors together just to give it like a seamless finish. Doing a few touch-ups on all the other colors as well. Okay, so now on to my face and what I'm using to prime is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 410. With this foundation, I like to work with half of my face first and then blend it out with like a fluffy face, br face brush um, because it dries really quickly. So you have to work with half of your face. Um, at least that's what I feel like I have to do. And then it also is of a watery consistency, so I like to use like a fluffy brush as opposed to using a beauty blender. See, I'm just blending that all the way to um, my chin, my hairline, um, close to my ear, down my neck, making sure it's fully blended. We definitely don't want to look like we're wearing a mask, so I'm just blending that all over. This foundation is a really full coverage foundation for me personally. Um, when I put on one layer, it covers everything. So um, if you have skin like mine, um, which has like a lot of dark spots, it definitely covers. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm also using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color Caramel. And with this concealer, um, it is not as full coverage. It comes off very sheer, um, and I like to use my finger um, to blend it out just because it comes in a stick form and you want to have something to um, warm it up and, you know, smooth it out a little bit more. So that's why I use, like to use my finger. Um, but... Um, yeah, the reason, and also another reason, as you can see, as I showed you there, I get really bad creasing under my eyes, so I like to use my finger just to make sure everything is fully packed and blended into my creases as well. Okay, so because it wasn't as full coverage as I wanted it to be, I also added my Born This Way concealer in the color tan, um, just to give it a little bit more coverage. And I went ahead and blended that out with my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So just blending that out. Also, another trick I wanted to try 
um, was putting a powder right on top of my concealer as soon as I blended it out um, just because I wanted to try to, to eliminate the creasing as much as possible. Um, as you can see, I had to blend it out a little bit more just before putting it on. And the powder that I'm using is my Ruby Kisses powder in the banana shade um, just to give it a little bit more of a highlight glow. But yeah, this actually did help out a lot. I ended up using so much powder um, in this particular um, video just because I wanted to eliminate the creasing as much as possible. I probably won't use as much powder as I did, but I was just trying out, trying out a new technique just to see what I can do to combat my under eye creases so if any of you guys actually have the same problem as I do with the under eye creasing um, go ahead and comment below which you do to combat the creasing because it drives me crazy okay so yeah now here I am um, packing on my other um, under eye under eye powder and that's gonna be my fit me concealer I'm sorry my fit me powder um, in the color medium 25 and I really love this powder you can find it at any drugstore a Walmart or a Target but it's a really nice um, powder it's really soft and it it's a really full coverage as well and for my face powder I'm also using the fit me loose powder in the color dark 40 So I'm just sweeping this all over my face and I also go under my eyes as well. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit more of that Fit Me powder in the color medium 25 just to kind of bake um, while I do the rest of my face. Okay, moving on to contour. What I'm using to contour is my Film New York um, powder by MAC. And oh my god, this, this contour shade is the only shade that I use and I will probably ever use. There's not a color out there that compares to this color to me, honestly. Um, I've tried other contour bronzer shades, and this is the only one that actually gets the job done for me with my um, skin tone. So yeah, I really love this color. Recommend it if you're same tone as me or even a couple of shades darker. It gets the job done. Okay, so next I'm using my Laura Mercier powder in the color Deep Dark to clean up my contour. And I am going to put a little bit more on top of, I'm sorry, underneath my eye, my eyes to um, kind of tone down the light color that was underneath there. So yeah, again, I am putting a lot of powder under my eye, but that's just because it creases a lot. And I want to make sure that it's not as creasy. But I do love this um, this powder for under my eye. I'll probably just minimize it to the Ruby Kisses powder and my Laura Mercier powder um, for next time, and just cut out the um, cut out the Fit Me concealer altogether. Not concealer, but the color the color I use to conceal with powder under my eyes for the Fit Me. It's definitely light and gives me a lot of creasing anyway. So I'm probably gonna cut that out. Okay, so here I'm just contouring my nose and I'm blending it out with my um, brush and my finger as well. Give it a more subtle look. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush palette in dark. Um, take the last two shades at the bottom and blend them on for blush. And these come out really great. They're really opaque and I love them. Okay, so next I'm taking this bomb.com highlighter 
by Artist Couture in the color Illuminati. This highlighter is so glowy and so glittery and I just love it. A little bit goes a long way, so yeah. So next I'm taking Fenty Beauty um, Highlighter and Trophy Wipe right on top of that just to be extra. And lastly on my nose and my Cupid's Bow I'm taking Precious Petals. Okay so to finish off the eyes I'm going ahead and adding more of Enchanted on my lower lash line on both eyes here then I'm gonna deepen up the crease the outer crease and the inner corners as well with more enchanted Okay, so to blend that out, I'm using Creamsicle um, on the lower lash line on the bottom part and the outer edge of the eyeshadow. So in the inner quarter, I'm using that shimmery lighter green color as well as the color I used on my brow bone. Um, mixed together to get that inner inner corner um, highlight and also using a black eyeliner on the waterline to finish off the eyes okay so I already added my lashes and here I am just applying like a burgundy-ish um, lip liner. I got this lip pencil from Hot Topic and that's nameless. So just any burgundy lip liner will do. I'm just going to line the outer, um, outer edges of my lips, of course, and then I'm going to fill them in with this lip liner as well. Okay, so on top of that, I'm taking this gorgeous liquid lipstick by NYX called Ego. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is just a gorgeous metallic finish and it was perfect for this vampy fall look. Okay, so that completes the look guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos. Um, I am going to be uploading quite frequently um, as I probably haven't been but definitely more frequently now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you want to see more looks like this video and also comment below what else you would like to see from me.